Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but we haven't gone to Home Goods in so long. So in today's video, we're gonna do a little shop with me and we're gonna see if there's anything good, if there's anything that you need to go run out and get at Home Goods. Um, yeah, it's been a while, so let's get to getting. Oh my gosh, I just got to Home Goods. It was raining on the way here, and now I wish I didn't leave the house and just stayed home with my puppies. Um, okay, well, let's go inside. I, of course, brought the wrong bag when it's raining. It never rains in Vegas, by the way, so I'm very confused. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the happiest place on earth. Are you guys ready? Let's go, let's go. Let's start in the mirror section first. I've been looking for a new mirror for the office. Um, and, oh my God. Oh my gosh, look at this mirror. It's massive. Um, I will say, Home Goods has really good large mirrors. Look at this one, it's 149. There's the ticket. Can you see that? That's the ticket. So if you're looking for it, you can try to find that skew. Oh wow, what's that? Oh my gosh. That's pretty. You could totally paint this gold. <gasps> Made in Italy? Are you kidding? Wait. $59.99? Should I get this for like styling videos and just paint it? I feel like that's such a good price. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in my cart just in case while I think about it. My hands are tied. And you resonate inside my bones. Okay, Miss Mikasa, stop playing around and give us a tutorial on how you get your bun so perfect. If you are an OG, you would know I found the most amazing designer lamps here one time and I just ha I have to look at the lamp section and I don't see I don't see anything that's popping out. Usually I'm like very quick, I'll see something and I'm like, "Oh, what's that?" Um, so far no. I'm liking these smaller lamps though, like these. These are great for like um just to play with scale a little bit. I know everyone is saying like, go big or go home, but for whatever reason, I'm loving smaller lamps right now or like smaller things in general. I feel like they feel a little bit more homey. Um, let me know if you agree or do you still like really oversized pieces? Oh, carry out. Um, oh, hello. Who is this? What are you? $129.99? I love kind of like this opaline glass look, the, the ribbed details. That's so chic and modern. I feel like I'm getting CB2. I'm getting like, I don't know, I'm getting a chic moment there. Okay, you already know how I feel about a wicker lamp moment. $79.99, I mean these prices, they're so good. Hi, that's kind of cute down there. Oh, I like that. Let's go check the art section. Do you remember when we put the Sarah Brooke pieces on the map? Oh, that was such an iconic moment for our home goods shopping trip. Why do I like this moment? Oh, it's like a floral, it's like a floral bouquet situation. Oh no, I thought it was gonna be chic, but I mean, it is just not my style. Is this your style? I mean, I like the neutral palette. I just don't like, the floral situation. Um, what else is here? No. Dear God, no. Oh, that's not bad. Wait, hold on. Hold on, let's take a look at this. I'm not mad at this. This is cute. See, this... This is the kind of stuff that gets me excited at Home Goods. No. Why? Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh no. Wait, are you kidding? Do you see what I say? Oh my gosh. Hold on, Miss Sarah, is that you? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe they have two in here. I haven't seen Miss Sarah in so long. Um, this one, I am not mad at. I'm almost certain this is gonna be like 200. Yeah, 199. Look how pretty that is. 
the colors, that hint of burgundy is so good. And this one, okay, I don't even need to say anything about this one. It's iconic. It's such a great piece if you're on a budget and you you need like a large piece of art. Now I'm curious to see what else they have back here. I see like this navy situation. Hold on. God, are you kidding? This was the very first um, Sarah Brooke piece that I've ever found. I cannot believe this is here. I'm gonna cry. This started all of like my home goods um, shop with me videos. This piece, I think it's like 250, but you know me, I love a good abstract moment. I can't believe they have the black and the gray right over there. If you're in Vegas, this is the Warm Springs location. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know why, but seeing those art pieces making me so emotional. Um, but let's take a look at their home decor stuff. Um, this is my favorite part about home goods is finding those little bits and pieces that you can add that isn't going to break the bank. Jonathan Adler, is that you? Oh my gosh, these are so interesting. They have a lot of these like ceramic pieces that look very Nordic, Scandinavian. I love anything that has like the curved details. And these are the pieces that you want to get from Home Goods that you can put on a shelf, on a built-in, to fill some spaces that isn't going to be that expensive. How much are you? $19.99? Are you kidding me? That's it. That's so good. Um, oh, I love this planter. Oh, that's cute. Look at all that texture, okay? When you say texture, this is what I mean by texture. Give me all of this. Wow. That's cute. What kind of plant can we put in there? Okay, sound off. What kind of plant? Or would we leave it alone? Oh my god, that's so good. That though? Oh god, that's disgusting. No. They even have the gray? Okay, cute. What sport is she playing? Basketball? Football? Soccer? There is a fridge in this home goods? What? $2,000? What is that? It's interesting. Actually, I found a smeg here before over in that section. Maybe I'll check there when it's not so busy. Let's go look at the floral section. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, we have a little earthy section over here. Oh, you know? Oh no. No, I don't like him at all. Absolutely not. Oh, this is interesting. Great shape, um, but horrendous color. I would definitely do that in black or white, terracotta even, but not the blue. Please no. What else is down here? The dried floral section is ready for fall, you guys. I am so ready for the season to change, even though in Vegas we're probably not going to get fall until like <laughs> November or December. Oh my gosh, she looks like a little alien playing the flute. Okay, comment down below what song do you think she's playing? Please do it. Oh, this is interesting. Do we like this bowl or do we hate it? I kind of like the squiggly arms for some reason. As a centerpiece, like on an island or on a table? Hmm. Okay, they have a lot of modern ceramics. $20 that's so affordable compared to like if you were to get this from CB2 or Crate and Barrel They'd probably be like three times as much um, They always have great little side tables again blue not my favorite, but I'm sure you can probably paint it or oh, what's this? Oh, are those like little coral fans? Oh, can I use that for something? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's falling apart. Let's just put that back. any good rugs this time you know I'm all about the hand knotted moment um, everything else is kind of just like okay like um, no <laughs> this is interesting Safa VA oh dear god no okay if there's anything about me I will never recommend a $250 plastic rug 
Oh my gosh, no! Um, okay, I'm not seeing anything though. See, like, this is a really good quality. It's handmade, hand tufted. Um, another Safavier piece. That one's actually not bad. I love the pattern. I love this, like, kind of circle situation there. All right, let's go look at some of these um, ottomans and benches. Silk Road? Is this made out of silk? Miss Thing? $49.99? Actually, this I love. Like, if you see the shape, okay, I want you to compare one, two, and three. This one looks the most, like, expensive. Like, these to me look cheapy, right? Like, am I wrong? Like, sound off in the comments and let me know if you would get a little stool like this. I love these layered underneath consoles or additional seatings. I just love layering stools. I don't know. Anybody else? Oh my gosh, that white lamp is giving me vintage Italian Still Novo vibes. That's great. Category is gymnastics. Do we still like these display ladders for um, our homes or are we over them? They're $49.99. These feel super cheap so I wouldn't recommend them, but are they cute or are they ugly? Never skip on the runner section of home goods because sometimes you'll score a hand knotted piece in here as well. They have a lot of the plastic ones. Yeah, don't do that. But like, even these are okay. These are nice and fluffy. Who are the, who's this one by? See, Laloy has some really nice um, power loomed stuff too. Oh no, he's falling! Let's take a peek at their garden section. Sometimes you can score some amazing vessels that look kind of vintage and antique. Um, so far I'm not seeing anything. I would definitely stay away from like the faux plants. Um, unnecessary. Definitely a hard pass. Um, oh hello! Hi! Um, I'm not seeing anything good in the planter section. Hmm. Oh, these are nice. These aren't bad. I like these a lot, actually. Ooh, what if you DIY like a little plaster moment? Or not plaster, kind of DIY to make it look like it's stone and kind of ridged. Stone and textured is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I like that. Made in Mexico. Looks very simple. I feel like that's the best thing to look for is like just simple pieces, not so gimmicky and it could pass as like a high-end piece, right? Truffle salt popcorn. Oh yeah, I had to get that. You can sometimes find like really chic pieces in the crystal and glass section. Um, kind of like these hand-blown glass knots. They're very Italian Murano glass in style and I love that color too but they even have it in just a clear I kind of love the um, kind of see-through translucent element of these pieces I wonder if they have a large piece of wood that I can use as a bath caddy like I just want something plain like this no that's not gonna work um, hmm. I know these are very popular. They come in and out of stock, I feel, even on like TJ Maxx's website. It's actually quite heavy. I've never seen them in person. Um, but yeah, I would say like pieces like this are worth, worth the $39.99. Okay, is this real leather? Shall we inspect? Made in Europe? Oh my God, are they lying to me? Um, the stitching is a little questionable. I don't know if this is really made in Europe or not. The color too, I think, is too orange. Um, I feel like for leather, mm, I feel like this is too distressed. It does feel like it is real leather though. Okay, but I don't know. I've never bought a furniture piece here before. And I think for $599, you can probably honestly get something that's a little more well-made at a different place. I just feel like the wood they have is like, do you see how thin that looks? Like all the grain is so far apart, that means it's a super flimsy piece of wood. I like the 
print of this pillow, but girl, no, we do not need sequin. We do not need Lurex on our pillows. Okay, that's just a little much. Wait, what? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? A little Turkish rug pillow? Oh my God, that's good. Rug, cushion, traditional Turkish rug, yes. Come through colors of bazaar. Oh my God, that's good. Look how cozy in the print. Oh my God, yes. Wait, hold on, I didn't see the price. $39.99, okay. Yeah, love that. What else is here? Any other ones that match? I don't see any ones that match. Wow, okay. Come through home goods with Turkish rug pillows. Okay, ready to check out now. I'm definitely getting the mirror. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it for me or if I'm gonna give it to my mom. I love the size though for like styling and um, doing a vignette on a console. Oh, yes. And then of course, I'm gonna get the popcorn because I'm hungry. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We haven't been to Home Goods in forever. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and watch my Target shop with me next. I feel like a lot of those items are available in store now. And I think I'm gonna go home. It's truffle popcorn. Mmm. So good. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you, <laughs> if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. <laughs>